안녕하세요. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel you love. This is my theme song for my videos, and I hope you like it. Hope you like it a lot. All right, guys. Today is an amazing day because I'm on the very next step. Of my BTS journey, I'll be listening, watching, reacting, of course, to the official music video for the song N.O. Hmm, by BTS, obviously, off of their second album, Oh, Are You Late Too? Now, if nobody told you, I'm on a BTS journey. I just finished my album review for the album Too Late For School, their very first album, and I did a reaction to each of the singles they put out for that album as well. So I'm doing this reaction, and then I'll do an album reaction to Oh. Are you late too? Let me know the right way to say it. I just kind of think it's fun to say it that way. Now, as far as I know, this is the only music video they have for this album. So if I'm wrong, if I totally miss that, let me know in the comments if there's any other ones. The BTS that I saw in the first album has evolved so much. So I'm really looking forward to seeing those points in their journey of when they take that higher step and just take things to the next level. As always, guys, hit me up with any hidden info in this music video, anything I might miss. I really appreciate all your guys' help in coming on this journey with me. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get into the video. All right, guys, headphones are in, video's ready. Let's go. We got our nice little big hit entertainment intro. Oh, wow. They're in like a school here, but the feel you get is like a dictatorship. Totalier, totaler, let me pause it. Totaler, why can't I think of this word? Totalitarian, that was what I was thinking of. Now that I am through with my embarrassment, we can keep going. Ooh, okay, they're all taking a pill, the red pill. Again, guys, we need more rapping Jungkook. Where did this guy go? At what point did he decide, I'm just going to sing? Like, come on, we need him to be on both lines, rap line and vocal line. I really, I really like it. The feel of this beat is like, oh, like so in your face. It's different from like the more raw, gritty 90s hip hop beats of the, the previous album, Too Cool for School. This is a much more like early 2000s, kind of mid 2000s beat. It has more of a trap element to it. Just the whole style is different. So it's kind of cool to hear. It kind of gets you hype. But let's see what Sugar has to say. Okay. Everybody say no. No. So they're rebelling now. All right, so um, that was cool. They're, they're rebelling, right? Let me know if I got this wrong. It looked like the teacher was the one who gave them the pill. So 
is the pill what's opening their minds and making them realize what's going on and rebelling? And why would the teacher give that to them? So maybe there's something I missed there. The closed captions on this video aren't in English, so I'm gonna have to really dive into the lyrics after the video and figure out exactly what they're saying. But it looks like a rebellion, right? And I know the first three albums are like school themed. And I hear a lot that in Asian cultures, like the school system is a lot more like oppressive in the sense of when compared to American school systems. Like there's so much more pressure in South Korea to do well in school than there would be here in America. And maybe I'm wrong, I've never been to Korea, but this is kind of what I'm gleaning from a lot of you guys are telling me. So this song might be just saying no to any oppression or anyone who's over you or any type of rebellion, but it seems to me that they're specifically talking about the schooling, maybe even speaking against the school system in South Korea. I don't know, maybe I'll figure that out when I really get into the lyrics. Um, so far so good guys though, I like the sound of this song, um, visually it's nice, um, let's keep going. Uh oh, something's either breaking in or they're breaking out. Now they're walking out all So one thing I'm noticing, I feel like the vocal line is more involved in this song than the songs in the previous album. However, still the main bulk of the verses are the rappers. So we do see Jim, we do see V, we do see um, Jimin, um, all like involved more in the chorus and the pre-chorus, but they're still not getting that big like chunk of the verses. At the same time, it's really cool to see them incorporated more. I'm also noticing even just the style, like they're still like in a, a lot of hip hop like fashion and things like that, but visually this song is a lot brighter. Um, the, the music video, they're in like all white most of the time. So that's a big difference compared to their last two music videos where it's a lot darker um, visually and clothing wise. So I find that interesting as well. Let's finish out the song. Now are they gonna battle these guys now? Oh, now they're on their side. Okay, but they're still fighting. It's more of like a choreographed dance fight. Oh, uh oh. Last one standing, come on. Come on, you can do it. Okay, they're back. This is cool, guys. Nice. Everybody say no! Nice. That was that was pretty dope. I like that like dance fight. Like that was cool. You don't see that often. You see either like a fight, choreographed fight, or like just dancing. That, that was kind of cool. I like that. One thing I find interesting, guys, first reaction is the song is N-O, right? N period O, but they keep saying everybody say no. Is it a double meaning? Like it means no, but what does N and O actually stand for? Maybe I'll find that out in the lyrics. I'm gonna go read the lyrics right now. Now you guys have been super helpful. You let me know that dual set bang, they are great with the lyrics. So I'm gonna go to their website right now, check out the lyrics and look up the meaning, and I'll be right back with my final thoughts. All right, guys, I am back with my final thoughts. Final thoughts. <laughs> Typical BTS fashion, like so much depth to the lyrics. They're always speaking about something important or something uplifting, and I really, really appreciate it. And one of my favorite lines in this song is they're saying a nice house, a nice car, could such things really buy happiness? And this whole song is like saying no to this oppressive system that's kind of like 
fitting yourself into someone else's dream. Now, is it wrong to do good in school? Like, no, like, should you try your best? Yeah, of course. And does doing well in school um, bring you maybe more opportunities or more open doors to do what you want to do in life? Most of the time it does. But at the same time, is that the only way to go? No. And if you screwed up in school or you messed up, is your life going to be a failure? No, you can still um, make a path forward. You can still accomplish your dreams. So I really do like the message of this song, guys, to discover what makes you happy. Discover what you want to pour your life into. What are you passionate about? And take the best routes to get there, even if it's not the traditional route that people think you should be taking. When this song came out, did BTS face any backlash where people saying, Oh, you're telling kids not to stay in school you're telling kids not to care about their schooling like were people upset about them or were people like oh finally someone's saying something that we've thought this whole time that'll be really interesting to know unless you guys let me know that there's another music video on this album the next video you'll see from me as far as bts goes is an album review so i'm really looking forward to that and getting to see how they progress just from one album to the next but until then i'll see you guys next time